I like to smile a lot whenever I'm on stage performing live here in Alba Island. I always sing with a smile. Because they love the music so much. I think the music is greatness. If you look at um, the Romans back in the day, they thought greatness for fighting great wars and letting their mirrors be remembered. So, to me, music is greatness because music lingers on. You know, try every day to produce clean music, pleasing music to the air that is. You want people to remember you for what you do and what you say on the mic. You know, you gotta touch the lives of people in your own intricate way. Not always easy to achieve, you know, there's a lot of unbalanced chemistry, I call it, in the vibes. And once the chemistry is right, you know, you create a phenomenal feeling for both you and people. One guy walked up to me one time and said to me, you know, see, when you sing the music, you make me feel good about myself as a person. I'm like, whoa. I don't know music that that's a people. But everyone has their own experiences of the music. So on Harbor Island, the island is some carrying things on, you know. The island is sweet. And my name is CJ. And I've been a local musician here on Harbor Island for four years now. Uh, everyone knows about me singing from the start of my career with the Afro band. Um, reflecting on some history of the music here on Harbor Island. My heritage is the Pasani, the Pasani brothers. You know, they originated most of the waking script here in the Bahamas. Uh, like in the early 60s and things, they played a lot of music. And we have a few uh, songs that they recorded and the voices link on. <clears throat> It's like, I almost inherited it, you know, even though my grandfather played in the band. I didn't find out until like two years in the playing in the Afro band that my grandfather was actually the lead singer and lead guitar player. Crazy, ain't it? How things just happen like that, you know. My grandfather was also a contractor. I studied architecture in school. Um... Music, music, music. So much I could say. Now that I'm on camera, I feel really shy, you know. And yeah, generally just rehearsed white and I. Uh, so we get chilling out, hanging, doing you know, stuff like that. Uh, we got Pineapple Jam coming up next Saturday. We're gonna jam with that. And we're gonna do it for free. Just to get a good jam with the boys, you know. Uh, when you have a love for music, I'd encourage any young person coming up with music to be disciplined. When I say disciplined in music, not only practice, because practicing comes automatically. Once you love something, you let it kill you, and you'll practice and practice and practice until you did. And then you'll jump on a show from show from show to show to show to show to show. But hey, when I say discipline, I mean in set a time to practice, set a time to do other things in your life. Life is more than just music. Music is love, not life. So that's my process of music. I I rich yet, man. So trying to get, you know, trying to get the right hip, you know. Right songs, right sound, <coughs> time, you know, time, music is an enlightenment, an insight, you know, what you can bring from what you have inside your mind, your spirit, and your body, music is within, something you bring out in sound, practice. Practice, practice, practice. Practice, practice, and more practice. Right? For yourself. Way to succeed.
certo, é. Well, it, it is a business for it, especially locally. Playing with all the hotels, and even if you wanted to play on the side of streets and put a hat out, a bucket, and and, and show me your talents like they do around the world, many various places, like New Orleans, uh, California, New York, etc. Just name a few. But yeah, we don't do that here. I remember way back as a kid growing up, the Sandy Brothers used to, you know, something to do with the little cocktail parties, go around to the little homes when they're having parties and pull out a hat and walk off with a fair amount of money. You know, but <coughs> um, music's now it's at another level for you all. You record music and you on YouTube, you know, you want whatever you want, you know, become a star instantly. It's overnight. So just having the right lyrics, the right sound, the right time. Yes, yeah, it's all open for you, man. The world's out there. Well, I found that I've noticed, and really even in myself, when I was a young musician, most people are afraid or shy, you know, and a little timid to do things. So you kind of have to have that self motivation and courage built within in the already almost prepared like we're like a Michael Jackson as a kid he was already like like an adult in his own mind performing like he did you know having that talent and having to have all those extra talents singing performing music and knowing the business side of it is another thing as well <clears throat> because that's that's that boils on to many big issues that's when it comes to ammo any why money People you lose friends and family and all sorts of negative things over that kind of foolishness. But you gotta have courage, you gotta have patience and faith, man. You know, at times, Courage Band, or oh, I was in the Courage Band, oh boy, over 20 some years. Yeah, um, they were pretty successful after a period of 15 years. Yeah, after a period of 15 years, we became, you know, that's like being dedicated. I remember playing the tables and chairs. The Vikram, Willie's Tavern, just practicing and practicing and more practicing. You know, having that courage and that faith, you know. So, the only way to be successful is to continue doing what you love to do. And it's, it's also a release and a relief to get away from other things and in your life, you know. Music, it kind of like it's like a, it's a drug meditation, it's a medication. Music is a medication in many forms of ways that it, it works and it helps people just to resume universal language in that way, you know, people learn English or Spanish to music, you know. And I think it should be always taught in the schools at an early age. So it helps kids communicate and how to express themselves. Arts forms in many ways, you know, art and crafts. <coughs> Courage band, wow, wow, wow. I can be brief. No matter where we started, we started at a fashion talent show at George's nightclub. You know, with three or four young men were in a place, and um, actually we were practicing a little bit as as young men, but didn't have a name for a band. But we got called up on stage, and people asked us, "What's the name of the band? We're playing so good." And we were like, "You know." So someone said, "Boy, it takes courage for y'all to come up there," and that's where the name Courage came from. So a Courage Band started at a Talent Fashion Show at George's Nightclub. And we went on from there. We practiced and played locally. Ministry of Tourism, a lot of festivals on the Lutra, we had Harbor Island. We, you know, became not to be decided. We want to write our own songs. We went to Minnesota, traveling throughout the Midwest, touring, playing a lot of different venues. We went to Princess Club Fine Line, the Bruce Glam Slam, hoping up for Sheila E. Mint condition, jammed with Lenny Kravitz, you know, many musicians, you know, Daryl Hall and all the notes locally on the island you meet as a musician. The people just come up to you, you know, because you play music and they respect the style and talents, which is cool, you know. You know, we respect it. I like seeing that too when I travel and meeting and, and congratulating other musicians, fellow musicians, because, you know, it's a, it's, it's a relationship that you build and you know that the kind of time you put into it. And what you bring out with your instrument, sound-wise, you know, it's, it relates a message and a unique message to people. So, yeah. the Afro band, um, it's really young, experienced, very talented young band. Had lots of opportunities. Uh, I had lots of talent, and um, 
Well, I thought hey, it was a great opportunity for a band, another band from Hopper Island to be successful, bringing out really good and cool music. And um, I thought it was very exciting. You know, the crowds showed that from the response when the, the band played and performed many nights and numerous of times. And I thought, you know, talent like that is here. I mean, anyone could be a star, I and mean, it was just there walking around the streets. Got this little soccer, trumpet, or tennis, basketball, music. You know, you put your mind to it, you can do and accomplish anything you really want to do, especially if it's positive and you get a lot of help from many people. You just got to start and want to do it, and the help will just come along. So, kids. A young men and women out there striving to believe like you don't have an opportunity, you know, just find the things that you're good at and the things that you're not good at and get better at and you can succeed a lot. You know? Yeah. Byron Heritage, Commander One, one hundred percent production. <laughs> yeah, that's you. Like <laughs> Yeah, what a jam, what a jam, what a jam. Oh man, I don't know what to say, I got the naughty Achilles of laughing. But I'm glad everyone had fun tonight. It was a nice jam, I felt good about it. Even Flighty Dwighty said so. So yeah, peace up, big up. Now we up in the club called Sea Grace. So is she sexy? Everybody, boys, wish she is. Oh my lord. <laughs> yeah, okay, good night, everybody. And we're gonna be at Sea Grapes Live. Nice jam. Uh, well, I live in Nassau. I'm just coming back to visit for you. Know, 
But um, we travel to Luther and stuff, road trip to Nassau. Most of the guys uh, have traveled, you know, like to Europe and stuff. Oh, with Europe? The older man, yeah. Yeah, Europe and uh, the US and stuff like that. Okay. These do guys are them. Do you have a card or something? I talked to this guy here. He's in charge of the band that, that played tonight. Alrighty. Yeah, Chris. So, you know. Alright, sir. Yeah, I'll be a red at Seagrave so we can talk some more. Alrighty. Yeah, Chris, so it's been a hot down. You know, the crowd, if you look at the crowd, it's pulling up. Not denying them on camera now. You can't talk to me like that. But anyway, we packing up. Yeah, we. that's what we do behind the scenes, but give me five seconds. We packing up our stuff now, we get it. So now them playing by Seagrapes tonight. And uh, they doing live music. But we gotta pack up all the shit. The thing is, we just played at Rainbow Bay last night. And we came down this morning. And we bought the stuff straight here at the Valentine's stuff. All right, bye, Spanish Valleys. And um, you come with Seagrapes? Yeah. All right, you can see you later. You can get it. Yeah. So Chris, it's been good. You know, good recording and stuff like that. You know, it's funny being on camera, you know what I'm saying? But it's cool. Freddy, you, yeah. you want to talk to the camera a little bit? Sure, man. Yeah, it was a beautiful evening, man. We had a good jam, five nights on a row. It's the fifth night. Had a great time. The crowd enjoyed it, enjoyed themselves. You know, we had a great time. Last night we was on the Lutra, performing at a wedding down there. It's really exciting, fun being able to travel and play along the neighborhoods and around the island. It's just so nice, man. Amen. I slept in the Jeep actually. It was cool. I slept on the road. That's a road trip, you know. But I'm still here, kicking. It's healthy. I thought I was going to be tired, but I'm pulling out, you know. So maybe we go into Seagrams to party and jam a little bit. Keep the highlight live music entertainment going on. You know, like earlier tonight, they had the Brothers down at Ramar Bay. Tonight at Valentine's, the, the new band. And then over at Seagrams, they have more of the Brothers at their clubs. So it's really, really pumping the local talent and the local music the way it should be man how Island style you know so much talent here it's amazing there's so much talent you got to just push it and encourage it especially mostly starting in the schools you know i think you have to start in the schools so you can just blossom out you know like a tree you know respect and this is the night you know he's coming in up, i'm doing an interview we've been way back from the cars man we've been all over the world touring yeah. visiting you know like hawaii miami l.a all over the place. Minneapolis, all over the world. you know, so nice. We, it's a drama. It's we international. Are the local stars and That's right. So when people come here, they come to see us. Exactly, you know. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, we bring the world here. They know, they know us from all over the, yeah, all, the four corners of the world. That's you know? right. That's right. You, know? you see what I'm saying? Brian, Take a seat for them, man. Brian, sweet man. Keep coming back. Day. You know. Yeah, you see. Yeah, man. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you and good night, everybody. Have a good time. This is live music telling from behind the scenes. We had a good time. Take care.